Let's go. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, hold on. <laughs> there you go. Bertie. We got Bertie. So we got a guy in um, to basically level the site for us, uh, which was great because he did the job in like half a day and it would have taken us like at least a week. It was pretty amazing actually. So yeah, today is going to be the first day you guys are going to meet Bertie, our caravan. And yeah, we're really excited to get started on the rest of the stuff. Okay, so what we've been up to today so far, the caravan should be arriving in a couple of minutes, is we put these pavers down and yeah, just made sure it's kind of level. This is sitting at a bit of a slant. And yeah, in theory, this should work, right? We shouldn't run into any problems. We'll see. Okay. We got Bertie. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're really excited to bring you some really cool content that we've been yeah, really excited for for the last while. So Jesse and I got a really cool opportunity to downsize and we're basically going to be living out of this caravan. His name is Bertie. Jesse chose the name, it's a really cute name. And Bertie is a pretty old 1965-1970 Gazelle double axle caravan. Um, so even though Bertie is really pretty, um, he's very much a fixer up. So we're going to fix him up on the outside and do a lot on the inside. Jesse will give you a tour on the inside now. And we're also going to build a nice deck with like an outdoor shower, bathroom kind of vibe. We'll let you guys know more about that as we go along. We're still very much working out the plans as we as we do it. Okay, cool. So let's have a look inside. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, hold on. <laughs> 
Welcome to Bertie. So as you walk into the caravan, this is our kitchen. It's got a gas stove and oven and also a gas fridge, but it can run on electricity as well, which is really useful. What we're eventually planning is to put solar, so then we won't have to be on the grid for that. In the kitchen, there's a significant amount of storage. That's actually true of the whole caravan, but specifically in the kitchen, we don't really have a lot of kitchen things, so I guess we'll use it for whatever else we do have. As it stands, we're gonna have to downsize quite a lot, but that's the plan for now. It has these little cubbies in here. That's just got some extra things. Um, we've got these low power using lights. I don't know, the caravan dude put them in. And they also installed plug, plug points for us because Bertie is so old that he didn't have any electricity capabilities. <laughs> A little like banquet seating thing where this will be my office it can also convert into a bed if you let this down it comes off on the wall and then it turns into just smaller than a double bed so we can have people stay over on this side there is this um hammock kind of thing i guess that they say is additional space for sleeping but i don't know how comfortable i would feel sleeping on this. It's pretty skinny and I don't know if I trust it to hold me. I have sat on here but I was scared the whole time. Um, and then that kind of like packs away into a situation like that but I reckon we're gonna get rid of this. And then there's a bench underneath. Most of the storage under here and under here and under there and under the bed so there's a lot of storage. And then there's these little cabinets as well. We can add extra things in. Um, and then this is our bed. As I said, it's a little smaller than a double. It's longer than a double, but it's not quite as wide. So we're gonna have to cuddle. And then we have on this side again, loads more storage. And there's this little nook in here that I think was initially used for a loo. They have like a camping toilet in here that you empty out. This is going to turn into our computer nook, so we're going to have our PC rig set up in here. All the windows have these glorious red curtains with the tassels on the bottom, but those aren't staying. That one's already broken. So, yeah, that's basically the inside of our Bertie. He also has air vents on the roof that we can open up. Oh, and one really cool thing is that it comes with this privacy divider, which is kind of gross, but Imagine having a projector up there and then we can watch movies, which is just really cool. We're looking forward to that. So that's exciting. Will it go back up? It will. <laughs> and yeah, we like him because he's got lots of windows. He's very spacious compared to all of the other caravans that we looked at when we first started looking. And yeah, when we walked in, we just knew he was the one. So we got a couple of leaks the last two days. We found some. Um, so yeah, now we're just in the process of fixing them. Um, not completely sure how we're going to do it, but uh, we'll figure it out.
may not be important. It was uh-huh. sitting in here. Uh, okay. I no, don't know what it was. I don't think it was important. Okay. Okay. So, little change of plans. Lots of changes. Lots of change of plans. We have ripped off all the countertops. I don't know what last you saw, but we've ripped off all the countertops here and in the back and we removed the back sink. And we're gonna take this one out and replace it with this because this is a little more practical and it was in my dad's garage and he wasn't using it. So that's the plan. And then we're gonna create a new countertop out of planks of some sort. Um, we still need to source those, but that is the plan. And then we're unsure what the situation is with the fridge, but we have another bar fridge that's more slightly less spacious than this, but presumably will use a lot less power. But anyway, the plan is we're going to take this bit of the cupboard out because currently this is a little weird and there's just like a cavernous space in here that isn't really usable. They had a flap, but it's just weird deep storage that we're not really sure what we're going to use it for because currently this is just wasted space yeah. so yeah that's the plan for now and we'll let you know how it goes <laughs> let's get started Okay, so great news. We finally got the sink in after some heavy alterations. So that's great news for me. Uh, next step is probably to cut out that part so we can put the fridge in there. But I think we'll save that for next time. But I think for now, we're going to cut this video off here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We're really excited to share this whole process with you guys. And yeah, we just wanted to introduce you to Bertie and our whole new experience and this new challenge that we're going to be taking on. Yeah, we look forward to bringing you more content about this. It's going to be a really cool project. So yeah, once again, if you enjoy your content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Maybe you have some hints and some tips for us. Maybe you've done this before. So yeah, please give us any info you guys have. And then thanks. We'll see you next time. You must smile and wave.